All right, I am guessing that you can hear me. This is where I am at right now. And of course, he says that he is bringing uh, someone to see the space uh, for rent. And I just wanted to note exactly what this space looks like now uh, and what it means to me because um, not even moved out yet and the cracks have not been uh, identified or adjusted or modified or anything really that has been adjusted I've got light bulbs and I am just taking notes because of all the mold that is still here and prevalent whenever it's here. Wow. That's really, really detailed. Okay. So uh, just an FYI. Um, what does it look like without any adjustments? Uh, let's see. Here is the uh, wall. Of course, you can see here the tire cracks. You can see where the ceiling is starting to kind of fall. You can see here all of the water damage. All of the stuff just coming through. Now, it's like you can really see it. Okay, so then I get to this side. And I got, oh, no, I don't see what you mean. Oh, no, you're right. You've never seen what I mean. Because that just doesn't make any sense to anyone to see what I'm talking about. Hmm? But he says he's bringing someone. You could tell where he painted over it, but like, really? So you're aware that this is going to happen? You were aware. You, you were aware that this was going to happen. This is gross. Like, now it's starting to really bleed through. That's so disgusting. Oh, wow. And he's having, he's bringing someone to see it. He's bringing someone to see it to rent the space. He's bringing someone to rent this space after the walls have been cracked. Oh. Okay, honeys. Uh, you can see this. This is the cracking of the wall. It's all the way the fuck across. Excuse my French. Uh, and it's a falling ceiling. And there is the rubber brace area that needs to happen. But you can see this area right here, puddling water, and the cracks against the wall. That are loosening the main part of the wall. He says he saw it. So, here we go. Oh, yeah. So, there is that. Uh-uh. Move. And then we got you know, the yard. My yard looks good. On the outside, you'd say this is a pretty gorgeous yard. In fact, it don't look like much is wrong with it on the outside. At all. It don't look like much of anything, really. 
I guess it used to be the garage and they did just kind of like, you know, whatever over it, you know. Really beautiful. I had two brand new uh, air conditioning units. It was really stunning backyard. Nothing really wrong with the house. There's no leakage. There's no there's no noticeables that would make me believe otherwise that there was something wrong with this house. Can't use this area because this is a, supposed to be some sort of water cooler heater system that's supposed to be for this unit that doesn't have any breaker boxes, by the way, or any other, you know, serviceables for this particular unit. Um, but this is not a, a shed. This is supposed to be for some water cooler system, uh, water system, septic tank, uh, kind of Gary rig that's got going on the hoses in the background and, and uh, our backyard. So it doesn't really look bad, doesn't it at all? And uh, so then it also has, just to elaborate um, into the kitchen's details, you can see kind of where this is. And he's bringing someone to see it. You can see uh, this looks like shadowing. I promise you it's not. Um, the details are like, this is after it has been rained a little bit. You can kind of see. Just gradual differences. Uh, anyway, just kind of see where the um, mold all over the blinds that grew in. Anyway, just it's it's like now you can see the distinctions between the paint and the mold and the. Uh, like different pieces of the house are falling apart um, above just being cut and it's like oh no no it really is falling and he's got brand new tile that he's placed in here and I found a crack the other day it was like wait a minute this is brand new you know it took a minute for them to tile anything um, refrigerator and area it did not look bad. Uh, you can see that it's just a little dusty, but um, just the water damage and from wherever it's, it's raining in here, so um, it's also falling to ceiling. It's just kind of like not wanting to stay there, and I'm like, what is all this? Like, why is, why is my, why are you bringing someone, you haven't let the last tenant leave, and already you're showing a tenant? Already you're showing a tenant, this apartment, and the last tenant hasn't left. Trash that I have to throw away. Stuff. Stuff. Just, I'm grateful how the house just needs a lot of things.
I'm ready for the most embarrassing moment where the tenant has yet to move out in order for the new tenant to see to face how embarrassing. Oh, I'm embarrassed. Me too, honey. Me too. But uh, I see that there's no time like the present, honey. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that we're ready when we get here. It's like, oh wow, there's a gigantic spot right here that shows up later in the dark of night when you see it it's like creepy looking because of the shapes but um it's just water from wherever that is damage so um, i'm just gonna go back to cleaning so back now